53,000 people from the city, the vast majority of whom chose the routes that were leading to the Russian Federation. We talked in detail about the state of our bilateral affairs, the Declaration on Strategic Partnership that has been adopted in 2018 in Russia has a special nature. We working actively on cooperation among departments and ministries. We work actively on reaching implement, implementing agreements reached during the state visit of President Putin to United Arab Emirates in October of 2019 and uh, that were achieved during later contacts of our leaders. We make visits of delegations of various levels. I would like to talk about visits that took place during the Expo 22 that took place during this event. Dubai became a place where our contacts took place, including the visits of the head of the government of the Russian Federation, Mr. Mikhail Mishustin. Also in December, there was an unofficial visit to the United Arab Emirates by the head of the Federation Council, Ms. Valentina Matveyenko. We are developing trade and economic ties as well. We have managed to increase the trade turnover and in the last year it was almost 5.5 billion dollars which made the united arab emirates the number one partner in the arab world for the russian federation an important role is also played by the intergovernmental russian emirate committee on the trade economic and technical cooperation its 10th meeting took place in dubai in november of 2021 and late January of this year there was a 13th meeting of the Russian Arab Business Council. We work closely with the between the Russian Fund of Direct Investments and the Arab Investment Fund as the new promising avenue of this cooperation. We talked about the work to curb the pandemic of COVID-19 based on the innovation Russian technology. We work on perfection and strengthening the regulatory base. Last year we signed intergovernmental agreement on the space exploration, mutual understanding and cooperation in aviation, hydrogen industry, etc. An important help for de developing bilateral ties will be signing the free trade agreement between the United Trade United Arab Emirates and Eurasian Economic Union. We support this work and we work on agreeing all the necessary documents, so this work is ongoing as we speak. We work closely on multilateral platforms as well. Traditionally, we have close ties. In this regard, this year, starting from January, United Arab Emirates has become a non-permanent Security Council member. And now we have new avenues where we could concert our efforts in the interests of resolving global and regional issues. We analyzed the situation in the Middle East and in the north of Africa. To our disappointment, there is still a lot of conflict potential as for the Syrian settlement. We have welcomed the recent steps taken by the United Arab Emirates in this regard last December. My friend Abdullah visited Damascus. He was welcomed by the President Assad. And we have also informed our colleagues about the latest contacts with the representatives of the Syrian authorities and the Syrian opposition and our work regarding the constitutional reform via Geneva process that is going to be completed at the end of the month. As one of the priority goals that we have is uh, helping Syrians regarding the humanitarian situation and helping them with restoration of the destroyed infrastructure in accordance with the resolution 2585 that was adopted last July by the UN Security Council. And we are also convinced that we need to mobilize our efforts about bringing Syria back to the League of Arab States. As for Libya, what is happening there now, these processes there needs a lot of attention as well. We have reaffirmed our mutual desire and willingness to 
help Libya to stabilize the situation via promotion of political process about holding elections within sensible timeline and of course we need to provide the participation of all the influential political forces that exist that stand for keeping unity territorial integrity and sovereignty of the Libyan state and we think that the problems that arise because of the adoption by the parliament endorsing by the parliament of the new head of state must be resolved via negotiations via looking for compromise we are concerned because of the situation in Yemen and uh, the hostilities might, might spill over to the adjacent countries we condemned the attack against civilian infrastructure in this area we think that this Yemeni conflict can have no military resolution and we need to continue working on starting a dialogue between warring parties based on considering the opinions of all the leading political forces in the region and in this regard we have also drawn attention to the difficult economic situation dire social situation in the country and we have underscored the necessity to mobilize efforts in this regard by the special envoy of the Secretary General of the UN. We have also talked about the situation in Sudan. We have positively assessed the efforts by the Supreme Sovereign Council on promoting the political process in the country with the aim to hold general elections in a And once again, we have drawn the attention of our friends to the Russian concept of the collective security in the Persian Gulf. We have updated this concept last year. We held expert consultations with a number of countries from the region, including United Arab Emirates, and we have agreed to continue working this, on this matter with experts by creating conditions that will allow us to bring this process further from consultations with experts to the negotiations with the government. Obviously, behind all these important processes, we shouldn't and we have no right to forget about the Palestine problem. If we talk about the Middle Eastern settlement, we see no progress. On the other hand, new problems arise, and we have reaffirmed our stance to resume direct Israeli-Palestine talks with the consideration of the international legislation that has been created around this situation, considering the Arab Peaceful Initiative and also considering the important role by the international mediators. That should work actively in close coordination with the League of the Arab States. I'm sincerely grateful for my counterpart for the work that has been done today, and I would like to give him the floor now. I would like to thank my friend, Mr. Sergei Lavrov, the Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, for this substantive and productive dialogue. It confirms the depth of the relations of the strategic nature between our countries. We have exchanged our points of view regarding the bilateral cooperation, regarding the regional situation, as my counterpart, Minister, has just mentioned. We highly estimate strong ties with the Russian Federation that has now reached the level of the strategic cooperation along various avenues. We also would like to say that recently we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between our countries. We can see a lot of progress along various avenues in the interest of both our countries that should help us to develop further. We talked about the new aspects of the crisis in Ukraine, including the efforts made to have the political settlement of the protests. In this regard, UAE welcomes all the efforts on mediating from all the active international actors to bring the positions of both countries closer and to achieve peace in the regional and international platforms. We have reaffirmed the need to mobilize the efforts to look for humanitarian 
solutions and to provide humanitarian aid to everyone in need with no exceptions made. I would also like to use this opportunity to underscore that the UAE confident that the parties can find the common ground and to find solutions that will satisfy everyone. In this regard, UAE is ready to provide all necessary help to the parties to bring down the suffering and to bring the peaceful resolution closer. We hope that in the near future we will be able to achieve the ceasefire agreement. We also talked about the matters of the international energy security, climate security, and we also talked about the topic of stable supply of the energy carriers. We should pay a lot of attention to the food security on the global scale. A lot of countries, a lot of states have urgent need of supplies of essential commodities, including grains. United Arab Emirates will always be supporting any fair judgment regarding these matters. And along with various international institutions like the UN, we will try to achieve stability in our region and other regions of the world. Once again, I would like to thank my, my friend, Mr. Sergei Lavrov, for the hospitality, for warm welcome, and for the chance to exchange opinions on topics of mutual interest. Minister, hopefully we will be able to meet soon in the Emirates. Thank you.